In a thread that emerged on Twitter on Saturday, the Harry Potter author commented on an article that said people who menstruate and spoke about the the concept of biological sex, prompting a response from the media advocacy organization. Author J.K. Rowling was scrutinized on Saturday when she penned a series of tweets that came under fire by some Twitter users who called the comments transphobic. As the tweets gained visibility and negative reactions, media advocacy organization GLAAD commented that, in 2020, there is no excuse for targeting trans people. The thread started when Rowling reposted an opinion article from the website DevEx titled, Creating a More Equal Post-COVID-19 World for People Who Menstruate. She called out the story for its use of language, writing, people who menstruate. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wumbin? Wimpund? Woomud? This caused numerous responses among the LGBTQ community, with some Twitter users begging her to delete her account and another explaining that there are others with the ability to menstruate. There are trans men and non-binary people who menstruate you absolute wilting head of lettuce, said one user. Multiple users asked Rowling why she posted this comment, while one called her a colossal disappointment. The author began trending on Twitter as the thread gained more responses, eventually encompassing thousands of tweets from individuals upset by her words. Rowling continued the thread by speaking about the intricacies of biological sex. If sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. The Harry Potter writer also wrote, the idea that women like me, who've been empathetic to trans people for decades, feeling kinship because they're vulnerable in the same way as women, i.e., to male violence, hate trans people because they think sex is real and has lived consequences, is a nonsense. To these comments, one Twitter user responded by begging Rowling not to use her platform in this way. You are actively hurting children who admire you with your words, the very thing that drew them to you. Rowling went on to note that she respects every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. She said, I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so. In response, a Twitter user wrote, there is so much to unpack here. First of all, trans people are discriminated against on the basis of being trans, there is no if, and here you are, not marching with the LGBT community.